What's up guys, Juggalo here. I'm not sure if I stand in here. Yeah, my head's cut off, so I'm going to stand to the side. But anyway, I did some benchmarks and everything like that. I did three benchmarks, and this was my first benchmark. Um, I had the settings at 1.025 volts, plus 100 on the GPU, and then plus 500 on the memory, and of course, do the 132% so your uh, basically your overclock won't go down at all. It will always remain the peak uh, overclock that you want. And this is the score I got and everything like that. 75.5 is the minimum, 1952 for scores, roughly 33 for the min. Uh, max is 195. And here you can see like. I have my CPU overclocked at 4.2 gigahertz and all that stuff. Um, everything is on high in this one except for AAA, uh, which I forgot to do. But I did one, and I'll show you that later. All right, let me go to the next one. <clears throat> all right. Next up, we have. Basically, let me see if I can lower the camera a little. All right, 79 frames, about 80 if you want to round it. 212 for the scores. Min is about 35. Max is 201.4. And uh, settings I had here were uh, volts. I cranked it up a little bit to 1.115 volts plus 150 megahertz on the core and then plus 510 on the memory so there you go so you can see I'm slowly getting better frames per second but then again I'm not doing the full AA um, I really don't use AA because basically if you have a high enough resolution you really don't need to use AA so that's just my opinion alright next up we're going to do the last benchmark I did uh, last night. Blow that up, hopefully. Alright. Now this one, I cranked up the volts to 1.125. Uh, I did plus 175 megahertz on the core and then plus 515 on the memory. So I got 81 frames per second. Scores to uh, 1042, min 38, max but basically 203. Um, again, if you want your overclock to be the best for your 680, make sure you crank up the. Um, <clears throat> I've been using uh, what is it, EVJ Precision and cranking up the overclock to 132 percent, whatever the GPU overclock to 132 percent to maintain uh, the overclock itself and excuse me I'm sorry about that guys that's really rude of me but anyways let me go ahead and exit out of this stuff and I I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to use MSI Afterburner or not MSI Afterburner EVJ Precision I just need to find it hit yes and it should be pretty darn big so I don't have to zoom in that much Okay, all right. Now I'm gonna probably cut my head off while I'm doing this, but hopefully you get the deal. All right, this is right here. What I was talking about doing the 132 percent is your power target. That's what you want to do is crank that to 132 percent, and then GPU clock offset, and then memory offset as well. So that's what I was talking about. The higher number is, of course, going to be the memory, and I had this up to. 515 is the max I can get for the memory before it starts crashing on me, unfortunately. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. I only have one GTX 680. And um, pretty much how I adjusted the voltage. You want to go ahead and click on this with the mouse. And I'll go ahead and do that. And it'll give you a really, really small screen, unfortunately. If I can actually click on it, that'll be great. So, okay, there you go. And there's a the small screen right here. Let me go ahead and zoom up on that. 
And then this right here is what you use, the vGPU, and you set it. Um, I'm not sure if you can physically type in the voltage you want, so I basically had to slide the slider manually instead of uh, typing it in because when I double click on it, it doesn't turn to zero zero or anything. And if I hit, let's see if I hit one, if it does anything, see, it does absolutely nothing. So you have to manually put this in and you scroll it. Uh, 1.2 is the max on this Asus card, which I don't really plan to crank it that high. Uh, I cranked it up to, uh, let me see, right, I think it was like 1.16 or whatever. Yeah, 1.16 is the max I did. And uh, my temperatures on load, surprisingly, uh, I crashed at this voltage, by the way, because I had too much of a high of an OC on what I was trying to do. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that. But uh, the max I can get on the memory is 515, and then when I tried to do plus 200 on the, uh, the V-Core, or not the V, yeah, uh, 200 on right here the GPU offset let me go ahead and lift it up zoom out a bit when I try to do hunt do 200 on here and then 520 on here it crash so I'm gonna probably have to do like 180 and then 516 517 do a little slower on the memory offset and then for when I rem realized I was not using the AA on it and I just wanted to see what I could get um, I got 53.3 frames per second average scores is 1342 min frames per second 21 max is 135.8 and uh, basically it was the same settings as my max OC I got so 1.125 1 volts plus 175 on the offset for the GPU clock and then 515 for memory clock offset so that's what I did and um, for some reason I don't like MSI Afterburner and I'll show you the reason why so let me go ahead and exit out of that exit out of that on here it doesn't tell you what volts you're at at all for some reason and if I, ev I even go to the settings and I have everything unlocked it doesn't say what volts you're at right here so so it's like minus 38 plus 14 plus 2 plus 39 that's fine and dandy but I need to know the exact voltage that I'm cranking up here you know it's only you know, you want to know your voltages, not just like, oh, it's plus 13, plus whatever, because every card's different as far as stock voltages, and so you want to know what your base stock voltage is and what your card uses. And my card uses 0.987 volts right now for the stock clocks, I think. And let me go ahead and check right here and adjust voltage yeah, 0.987 so there you go um, I hope this helped you out in some way I'm sorry if I messed up or whatever um, basically a family member that was quite close to me uh, passed away yesterday so it sucks but I'm trying to press on and be positive and everything alright uh, so this is EVGA Precision X, and I highly recommend this over MSI Afterburner for now, just because you're able to do a lot more things in here. I prefer it. Now, if you want to like record gameplay and all that stuff, you can use <coughs> excuse me MSI Afterburner or Fraps or DX Tori or whatever. But for overclocking, I prefer EVGA Precision. And actually, a guy on Overclock.net said he actually got 
better performance and uh, stability using EVGA Precision X when he was using a couple of programs. So we'll see how that goes. But anyways guys, thank you for supporting me and I hope you like these benchmarks and everything. Comment, subscribe, rate this video, click that like button. You guys have a great day. Bye.